everyone, how's it going? Today we have a special unboxing video. I'm so excited. I just got this in the mail. And go. Just wanted to do a quick little review. If I can get the camera straight. No, no, no. No, there we go. Now I already opened it to it was to make sure. And here we have Retro Duo Portable. Now this is the portable version of the Retro Duo replacement console that plays Super Nintendo and Nintendo games. This takes it a step further and makes it a handheld, which is fantastic. And it comes with a lot of stuff. There we go. I'm going to open it up for everybody. Got a tabby here. Front lip. I'm just amazed by these consoles. They're just so, it's so cool just to get them. And it comes with this really... It's a pretty big manual for a little thing like that. Then we have the goodies on the inside. Ooh. And first and foremost, if I can find a way to get it out. Um, let's see here. I don't think I have anything. Good old eliminator. So here we have the console itself. I got a stupid uh, film on it. There. Gross. I hate that. It's got a nice little screen. It's got your D pad over here and your Famicom or Super Famicom style buttons right here, which there are quite a far ways apart, which is what a lot of people were saying. So you get your system with your D-pad, family count buttons, shoulder buttons, left and right. Then you got your start and select button, and your reset slash contrast button. Now, regularly, if you just press it like once or twice, it's going to go and change the contrast levels, but if you hold it in while the game is playing, it'll reset it. So yeah, and it's a, uh, the feel is really sturdy, kind of feels like you're holding a, uh, a PSP with a grip on it, like a thicker grip, but yeah, you got your audio jack right here for your headphones and stuff, your volume slider right here, and your on and off switch right there, which you actually have to press to get it to go, so it's not like it's going to be messed with easily, but yeah. I don't know how you can see it, but it says Retro Duo Portable on there. Yeah, pretty, it's pretty excited for this. Now, it comes with a controller adapter, so you can put two Super Nintendo controllers and connect it through like a mini USB type of uh, cord. It comes with a... Get this out so you can see it. comes with a stand you can like clip into the system so you can play with the controllers instead of having to hold it or say if you're displaying it and you want to put it over on your shelf and then it comes with two of the retro bit controllers which are great these are I like to feel these a lot like they they feel like cheaper but they're not really cheap and they're really thin and nice like, this is probably the way I'm going to play it. <laughs> you have your second one. Comes with two. And you have this. Choo -choo -choo. Retro port. Now, this big hunk of plastic allows you to play regular Nintendo games on your Retro Duo Portable. Now this thing's really flimsy. Um, I can already tell it's got like sh stuff shaking all inside of it. So, but yeah, but it's going to be cool. I've heard a lot of things about this, like how well it works, and I think I might just have to get a new cord to make it look good. And it comes with your audio-visual cord to plug in to your T 
TV and you can play on the big screen for a, a SNES console replacement. And then you have, last but not least, your wall charger. So you can charge it when you're on the go. Or you just plug it in and play it like you do a regular system. That's probably what I'm going to do for a while. Alright, and that's, that's all she wrote for that. Snifty little box. It's pretty cool. Alright, now we're gonna do some tests. So we got our retro duo portable here. And then, to go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and grab a couple games. Sorry about that, I was texting. <laughs> Alright, so, I've got that right here. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past for SNES. I'm going to go ahead and the games go in label facing you. First I was trying to put it in the other way. Did not work well. Let's see if I can get it to boot on the first try. experiencing any lag, but the camera editor, or the camera capture I'm using right now, is kind of laggy itself, so it's not really the game. The sound doesn't lag from the game actually at all. And the screen is okay. I mean, it's not the best thing, obviously. It's a little shaky. Like, it looks like, I think the refresh rate could be a little better. But, I mean, it's good for what it is. I mean, I'm not going to be playing it like this often, just when I'm, like, on the road and stuff anyway. Alrighty, so that's that. That works. Now we're going to test out the, the retro port for it, which I'm pretty excited to try out. Um, if I can find the retro port, I just had it. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. Hmm. Let's see. Tell me that. Right, let's figure out how to do this. The same way, it goes into the top. So first you have it like this. This lovely uh, hunk of machine machinery here. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the regular Nintendo game. Uh, we'll go ahead and do Adventure Island 2, one of my favorite NES games. goes on top of that. Maybe. Alright. So here's the outcome of our... Wow, that's awesome. I seen this and I didn't think it was going to be that much of a hassle. this game, but it's pretty good. I used to play it all the time. I love this game to death. Bad lag. 
back in this video. <laughs> Anyway, that works. That works pretty good. I just want to check the video quality on the NAS real quick. And the quality is old. I mean, it's expected to be this bad from the previous game. It looks like the quality changes. Sometimes it'll be really good one second, then another second it'll kind of go bad. But it's not unplayable at all. I mean, it just looks like you're playing an older crappy TV that's about to go out. How they're supposed to be played anyway. Alright. Well, that's just fantastic. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to show how these controllers work real quick. Basically got your mini USB thing and you got the side of your system which has the port. You just plug that in and you actually have to kind of push it first because at first it doesn't really seem like it wants to go. And then you take one of your controllers or in this case, well no I'll use this controller but it can use uh, original controllers too for the or Super Nintendo so that's, that's always good. You have to flick the switch in the on position. And for the sake of doing this like this way anyway, I'm going to go ahead and attach the stand. If it's as simple as, as, simple as I hope it is. <laughs> It does come with a screw to hold it in, because it does go in the holes, but then there's also a screw hole here that you can hold in better with the screw, but we're just going to attempt to play it just like this. It's a scary sound. <laughs> I don't think the insides are held too well. test it on the TV just to kind of get a good sense of how it's going to be or what it's going to look like and stuff like that.
I just want to see if there's any like lag between the TV and the system itself. and that it's not even showing up on the TV that's just the uh, webcam but yeah so it's a really really good so anyway that is my review on the retro dual portable made by retro bit company that makes the retron one two three all that fun stuff um, I'm going to give it for this review I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 um, reason being an 8, um, it plays really good, like really, really good, there's no lag or anything. Um, the colors actually almost look brighter on the TV than they originally do on this regular Super Nintendo, which is really awkward and kind of weird, um, but for Super Nintendo it wasn't really known for its like brightness or the contrast of its colors, more just the brightness, so it's really contrasted on here, which is good. Um, it plays Nintendo games, which is great. Um, it plays Famicom and Super Famicom games also, so that's good. Um, and the bad on it, um, we're going to go ahead and say first this. There should be a better way, <laughs> because it's kind of dumb. It's just too much of a hassle to mess with. I mean, it's fine. I'll do it. I don't want to. I'm sure nobody else does either. Um, another thing is the screen. That LCD screen on there, it's kind of junky. The rest of the system's really solid, which is kind of sad to see that the screen's so bad. Um, go ahead and turn that down. But yeah, so an 8 out of 10. It's really good. Um, I'm pretty excited to have it. I've been waiting for it for a while now. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some more of these kind of new um, kind of remakes of the consoles, because it's kind of cool to see that people are actually getting back into retro gaming enough to, for people to actually make old consoles and make new ones out of them. So yeah, so that's been my review for the Retro Duo Portable made by Retrobit. Uh, cost was about $89.99. Shipping was about 7 8 bucks. I got two-day shipping, and it was only 7 bucks. so that's, that's great. Uh, got here really quick. Yeah. So it's Retro Duo Portable. Make sure you check out more Eat Sleep Game videos for all your video gaming needs and info. And we're going to be having some new videos up soon. Possibly some more of these video game console remakes. And I hope to see you then. Thanks.